Hey everybody, I'm Dave from AskUncleDave.com. They say that Christmas time is a time for miracles. Well, I got invited to the Plex Cloud Beta server. That means you don't need a PC to run Plex server. I checked it out and I'm going to give it the Ask Uncle Dave treatment. I hope you enjoy it. A couple of months ago, I signed up for the Plex Cloud Beta server and I finally got an email saying welcome to the party you know um, I'm able to now install the Plex cloud so to get started I have to click get started and it takes me to the forum page uh, this is where I'm gonna be reporting all my beta stuff uh, back and forth see what other members of the beta program are, are talking about now they have a way to start out so we'll start out here and we'll hit a Plex web and it'll open up the web page uh, that my Plex is normally at. Now, at the current time, I have a Azure Store NAS. That's a computer, like a little box that you have all storage in. And it has uh, applications that you can install the Plex server onto it. I have all my movies on that NAS, and this is my NAS device right here. So I got the Plex server on the NAS. It's looking at all of the videos and TV shows that are on the NAS in a particular folders. I have it broken down by a media folder. And inside that media folder, I have Plex uh, dad's movies, dad's TV shows, kids movies, kids TV shows. And then I have uh, Looney Tunes and Tom and Jerry because they're kind of uh, mixed up. There's really no cover art for them. So I put them separately. Now you can get channels. Uh, you can you know see what kind of channels there are. They have third party channels, all that stuff. So that is it on my NAS. But since I've been invited to the Plex Cloud, I'm able to now click into here and add a Plex Cloud. Now I can use Google Drive, I can use Dropbox, and I can use uh, Microsoft One uh, uh, Drive. So uh, before we do this, let me show you that because in preparation uh, for this, you have to set it up. Now before we even do that, I have to tell you that only way you can get into the beta program is to physically sign up for it. And you also have to have a Plex Pass. Now, Plex Pass, I joined a couple of years ago for a lifetime membership. Currently, they're having it on sale now. Now, I'm not trying to sell this to you, but Plex Pass has a lot of great features that you may like. You get to try software and servers and everything else out early before everybody else. Uh, you get to uh, DVR your stuff. You can DVR from a... Um, an antenna you can use your controls you have a, a lot of perks that you can use now they also have cloud sync and not to be confused with what we're talking about today today we're talking about cloud server but there is also a cloud sync that was introduced a while back and what you could do is you could take the movies that you have on your NAS for instance and you can download them to whatever client you have now there's a client that you're actually watching the shows and then there's the server so you could take the movies from the server and put it onto your device for offline use that's a plex pass feature there's other features and everything but i'll leave the link in the description you can go check it out for yourself so in preparation for this beta i set up my three uh, drive services first i have a google uh, drive and let me show you that real quick so we'll open up the Google Drive folder and I have it installed on my Mac as an application Google Drive say so I have a Google Drive and I have Dropbox and I have OneCloud and these are applications that install and they add a folder to your finder and this folder is in sync with the cloud of that service so anytime you throw a file into there and it gets uploaded to the cloud so you have one copy on your Mac or your Windows or your Linux and then you have another copy that's on the cloud that's what the Plex cloud server is going to look at the cloud not your computer so you don't necessarily have to have this software you could just upload it through a browser all your videos and then just disconnect from it and all you have is Plex living on that cloud that's looking at your cloud okay so in uh, Google, I have 17 gigabytes over the years. It also shares it with Google Photo if you choose it that way. And you also get your mail and everything like that. That's all included. This is your entire Google account. So keep that in mind. You need to keep room for that. Okay. 
you can upgrade and everything. They have programs where you can upgrade and, you know, you can get a yearly fee for $19.99 for 100 gigabytes, things like that. So the next one is uh, Dropbox. And Dropbox, uh, we have it here. And I have on Dropbox, I have um, how many gigabytes? I have, I have se 7.6 gigabytes on this Dropbox, all from sharing and getting extra credit and stuff like that. But they have um, their plans too. Uh, that you have to sign up for 825 a month or you do 1250 per user per month or you got a yearly or whatever it is so you're going to investigate that of course once again i'll leave all the uh, uh, links in the description now here's my drop uh my one drive here's my one drive and my one drive i have uh 105 gigabytes that was because i had a tablet one time a windows tablet and um, I had Office on it, and they gave you a year supply of 100 gigabytes that I never really used, but I'm going to be using it for this demonstration. So this is all good. Now, every one of these drives, I made a folder called, um, I made a folder called One, you know, like Microsoft One Plex Library. And then I opened it up, and then you have Dad's Movies, Dad's TV Shows, Kids Movies, Kids TV Shows. Then I have Music. Uh, pictures and I have other videos that's like for the Looney Tunes or whatever I'm gonna chuck in there so now I have it all set up I can rip DVDs I can download from torrent sites movies and things like that and I could take these and I throw it into the finder window into like um, the OneDrive and I have it go in there and then it uploads up to the cloud uh, from my OneDrive okay so that's that. That's how we're going to do that. Now, let's go back to the server. Let's set it up. And I'm going to set it up with my Microsoft OneDrive because I have 100 gigabytes on it. So let's do this, it says. We click it, and it gives you the choice to choose which one you want to use. You can only use one per account, one per Plex account. So we're going to click on OneDrive. It's not like you can use all three and then spread it out. Uh, you can't do that. You can only do one at a time. So it's creating the Plex Cloud. Plex cloud server is waking up blah 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 it's doing it you're not putting this on your PC you're putting this on the cloud so it's scanning and it's going to tell you now to continue so we'll hit continue and now you'll see that I have my zoo store and I also have my Plex cloud so with the Plex cloud they say add a library just like you do when you uh, add it to your you know computer okay so now we're going to select a library so we have uh, movies here TV shows, music, photos, and other. So I can click movies here, and I'm going to uh, name this Dad's Movies, and I'm going to hit next. So I'm going to browse, and usually with the server that's installed on your PC, you browse, and it goes to like your C drive or you know your Finder, your main hard drive. Uh, but this is going to the One Drive because it's connected and it's got permission to do so. So we are, we're going to now go to Dad's uh, movie, and we're going to hit Add. And then you can go into Advanced and select uh, different ways to scan and uh, what agent to use to get metadata and background art and all that stuff. So we're going to hit Add, and it's going to add it right to our Plex Cloud uh, right in Dad's movies there. So it's pointing right to where Dad's movies are on the OneDrive. So while we're waiting for that, uh, it's a little slower than you do if it were local on your computer, obviously. Uh, you know, this is uh, all cloud-based, so everything has to go through the internet. Uh, we'll go to uh, music, uh, because music takes a while to populate. Uh, if you have a lot of music, you're going to have uh, it slow during this beta process. So uh, once we get it all worked out. Um, we'll see what happens. So we'll go to one library here, and I'm going to click on where I keep my music. I only have two songs in there. Um, and then you can go to Advanced. Now, if you had Plex Pass, you get uh, the special feature like this. So we're going to just go there. Here's your Advanced tab, and we're going to go in there. So now we have music, and that's searching the music folder, and it's going to populate it. So let's see what we have for Dad's folder. So we have one here, and this uh, showing that it's looking for the metadata. Uh, for this movie here. It's looking it up over the internet. 
So we go back here and we can hit the little plus sign here and let's add uh, some TV shows. We'll add my TV shows. So I'm going to call it dad. And this is what you know, you'll see in the column here. Um, we'll hit next browse OneDrive and then OneDrive library. And of course, we're going to go to dad's TV shows. Now I can make the same for, you know, all the others. Now I have three folders in here. I have two family guys, a, a one following and one Westworld. And I put them in folders inside the folder. Okay. So I'm going to hit add to library. It just makes it more organized that way. Uh, you could just pile everything all into one folder, but it's just not going to be right. You should try to separate your TV shows, your movies, and then uh, kids TV shows and dad's movies or whatever categories you may have. So there's music still trying to uh, find uh, the music and right down here you're going to see metadata like artwork for this album here but this one I won't be able to find I, I did this ahead of time because it's an unknown album um, dad's movies you have that one movie there uh, if we go to dad's TV shows you're going to see that it's collecting the two shows here it's still got to do the third one uh, then it's going to get the data, metadata, the artwork, the background art, everything like that. So let's start now with something that's uh, sort of done already. So you got the two here. It's got uh, two episodes in, in one of these. And then we'll, show, we'll go back to that in a second. See the two up here? Um, so we're going to click on this. And when we click on this, it's just like you expect uh, if your server was sitting on a hard drive near your computer. Uh, you got the background, you got the synopsis, you got all that stuff. It's downloading metadata still. It's doing its thing. Now, this is something that you want to maybe run like overnight. Oh, there goes now the music for the cover art for the music there. That's an old song. Um, if we click on something with two, uh, you're going to see the two episodes here, eight and nine. Um, it hasn't yet finished up all this metadata and stuff like that. So now we're going to go to the iOS device and I'm going to show you. Uh, that everything is over the cloud. You, okay, so now I have my iOS device up on the screen. I'm in my Plex app, and I have my Zooster NAS uh, server there, and there goes my remote cloud now, and that shows up. Now I can have my computer off. I can have, you know, everything shut down. I could be outside of the house. The movies that I have are living in my on my One account, my Microsoft One uh, Drive, and Plex is now looking into there. So here we have Dad's movies. Just like you had before, uh, you have Dad's TV shows, and you see that all three of the TV shows show up. And then uh, we can also see the music uh, with the one cover art there. So if I hit um, Browse, I can see that I have all my shows. So Now let's start a show. So let's say we have TV shows here, and we pick uh, the one with two episodes uh, right here. There's two episodes that I can choose from. Um, I'll pick this one here. And if I go to click this uh, syncing, this is the cloud sync. Uh, it's not going to work. It only works with uh, you know hardware installed servers. So let's hit play. We can add this to a playlist. You can do all the other features. It just can't sync it like that. So we're going to hit our volume here and we're going to uh, play this uh, TV show here. So it starts up, it's pulling it from the cloud, it's loading it up, transcoding, doing whatever it does. Uh, this particular movie is a uh, MKV. Uh, so that plays, that's fine. We'll go back and we'll go into uh, like music, for instance. So let's go into find our music. Okay. Oops, sorry, went into the wrong thing. So I go into here, I go to music. And I click that and I can start playing this song right here. Add it to a playlist, do whatever I want. Uh, skip ahead 30 seconds, 10 seconds behind. Uh, set it to uh, play shuffled. I can even grab some lyrics, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that's uh, music, how music works on there. You could do the same with pictures and all that good stuff, uh, but it's all self explanatory. So this was your first look at the Plex Cloud uh, as the beta goes on and new features get added, maybe some more uh, drive services. I will let you take a look uh, alongside with me, uh, being that you're not part of the beta. And if you are, hello.
Have a nice holiday, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.